All right, let's dispel some of the rumors about crush collars being weaker than shims. That's just stupid. And if you hear someone tell you that it's going to build your diff, you should do it, go with this over this because it's strong and it won't lose preload. You should run away because that person has no fucking idea what they're doing, okay? Now, let's quickly run by this. I'm not going to give you any further intru- other ideas of how to do this the correct way or anything like that because, you know what, that's my knowledge and not yours, okay? When it's spinning, okay, on the drive side and the load, it's trying to push itself out the carrier. All the load is on this bearing. This bearing here is kind of long for the ride. So it's pushing this way, which would be lifting this bearing and taking load off its race. No way to crush that. No way to crush that. Okay? When you're off the gas and you're on the coast, the load then reverts back to here. The carrier is pulling this in. We're leaving the load here. All these do, this and this, all they do is put preload between these two barons. So, it's not too heavy where these barons run hot, overheat, and start cooking the oil and turn the oil into water, which then kills this in the ring gear. All right, too little preload. And then these have the ability to start wobbling around, beat each other up, and disintegrate. So, there's no way for this to crush the collar anymore. Doesn't make this any better. This one takes longer to set up the preload. Faster, easier. Only difference. So when someone tells you that you need to get rid of this and go to this because you got a drag car or you got this or you got a road car or a pulling truck or something else, they just don't know what the fuck they're doing and how to set the preload right the first time with either one of these so you don't have one of the other two problems. Carrier preload's a whole different story and I'm not getting into that and teaching any of these imbeciles anything. Let them keep having gear failures. All right, and that's how that works.